Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4 to the power of 1 plus x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x is equal to 10. So now we want to find the value of x. So first off, if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So for 4 to the power of 1 plus x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x, I'm going to be using this property for both 4 to the power of 1 plus x and 4 to the power of 1 minus x. So now this would equal 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of negative x. This is equal to 10. Now, 4 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 4, so this would equal 4 times 4 to the power of x plus 4 times 4 to the power of negative x is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of negative n, this is equal to 1 over a to the power of n. So in this case, 4 to the power of negative x, this is going to equal 1 over positive 4 to the power of x. It's equal to 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let y equal to 4 to the power of x. So now if I substitute in 4 to the power of x for y, I get 4 times y, so 4y, plus 4 times 1 over 4 to the power of x, so 4 times 1 over y is equal to 10. Now, 4 times 1 over y, that's the same thing as 4 over y is equal to 10. And now, if I factor out y from this, I get y times... Or sorry, if I multiply y on both sides, I get y times 4y plus 4 over y is equal to 10y. Now, if I distribute the y here, 4, y times 4y is equal to 4y squared, plus now y times 4 over y is simply just 4, is equal to now 10y. Now I can subtract 10y on both sides. So now I get... 4y squared minus 10y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can factor out 2. So now I get 2 times 2y squared minus 5y plus 2. And this is equal to 0. So now if I divide both sides by 2, these two will cancel out, and I'll have 2y squared minus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0 divided by 2 is simply 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now in this case, a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to 2. So now, if I replace these values in for the quadratic formula, first off, negative b, so negative negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so again, negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 2 again. 
now I'm dividing this by 2a, so 2 times 2. Now, to simplify this, I have negative and negative 5, which is going to be a positive, because a negative and negative is always a positive. So I have positive 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared, which is, again, a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. Now I'm dividing this by 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, I have y is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 16. That is going to be 9 over 4. This means, well, first off, the square root of 9, that is equal to 5 plus or minus 3 over 4. And now this gives me two solutions. I have 5 plus 3 over 4, and I also have 5 minus 3 over 4. So for 5 plus 3 over 4, this is going to equal 8 over 4, which is equal to 2. So y equals 2 is a solution, and for y, 5 minus 3 over 4, 5 minus 3 is 2 over 4, this is going to equal to 1 half. So my two solutions of y are y is equal to 2, and y is equal to 1 half. However, now, we are not solving for the value of y. We want to find the value of x. And y is equal to 4 to the power of x, right? So now if we substitute our values of y in to this, well, first off, let's do 2. So now I have 2 is equal to 4 to the power of x. And now 4 to the power of x, well, 4 this is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have 2 is equal to 2 squared to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is equal to 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2x. And now the only thing that would work is x is equal to 1 half because 2 would have to be to the power of 1 to equal 2, and 2 times 1 half is 1. So x is equal to 1 half. Now, for if y is equal to 1 half, I have 1 half is equal to 4 to the power of x. Now, 1 half, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of negative 1. And 4 to the power of x, again, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x. So now I have 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. This means that negative 1 is equal to 2x. So if I divide both sides by 2, I get negative 1 half is equal to x. So my second solution is x equals negative 1 half. So these are my two solutions to this problem. Mm -hmm.